Hello everybody, and welcome back to Tales from the Heart, a Toeful Boyfriend. Now, last we left off, I believe our grades sucked, and we need to try harder. Anyways, ah, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. And so I sat studying in the library, while one by one the other students filled out, filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Oh, you're never alone. You know who's there. Or not. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you've sat down next to me, Nageki. I want to talk to you. Oh, jeez. The musical shift tells me shit's about to get deep! You're nothing but surprises today. Oh my god, my chick slash dude sounds creepy. You know, I'm not even going to say a chick or a dude. I'm just going to say unconventional gender. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, talk away. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Kensrot. <laughs> You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. That, that's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll talk to your teacher. I'm not done talking yet. Sorry, go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You... Not? I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. Better than this? What is he? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I remember things sometimes, but it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Kenserot, I think... I, I think I'm... Krenz... Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Kenserot, you're here late. Sir, the school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not al Huh? Nageki's gone. I'm he's part ninja. I mean that's just that's the thing. But ninjas are genetics, man. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? I wish ninjas were genetics. Then that'd be an actual superpower, unlike our hunter-gatherer instincts. Did he leap out the window and go home ninja st- <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only one who assumed that. We got our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exam, the whole semester has been nothing but tests. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. No! Ah. There we go. Okay, Kenzrod! Sir! You're getting better. Keep it up. Don't yell at me. Yes, sir! Closing time already? I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard? I'd be risk my life. I'd be risking my life. You're still here? You're still here? Nageki! Book under his arm, same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow. Mm-hmm. I guess I have to wait until it stops. He makes a noise all silent night. Oh, this is wonderful and beautiful. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way. What are you reading? Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? How do I just casually forget that? Actually, I don't get to say anything. Cause, like, two years ago, I forgot my own birthday until my sister texted me about it, so... I guess I can't really say much. Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished. Yep just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. 
That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff is never been... <laughs> Okay. You know, whatever. Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist Scrooge sees that sees that, that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It'd be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is. And that's all there is to it. So we enjoyed the present point in the long in the time along with which we flowed. Okay. And so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. Okay, God, I don't know why that sentence just didn't make sense to me for a second. It's a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. The sun! Its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting into incand incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have a warm winter plumage. Maybe I'll borrow some, borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Chris! <laughs> I love the fact that I know it was someone's job to draw clothes on a pigeon. I wish I could get paid to do that. Oh. That would just be awkward at family dinners, though. It's like, hey, Chris, what do you do? I draw birds on, or I draw clothes on birds. I'd have to say that with a straight face. I don't think I could do it. Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Uh, uh, oh. Looks good on you. Came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Uh, I'd like one for... Fulfillment school, fulfillment art, fulfillment conquest. Fulfillment conquest! Here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep. First day is always busy. Oh, well. I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Chris. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay. Thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm... Mr. Kana Nanaki? Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Kenzrot. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which one should I take? This one! Burke's Blessing. Borks. Borks? Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Kenzrot. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up! Oh. Uh, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. most splendid and greatest academy of pigeon of the pigeon by the pigeon and for the pigeon third term it's still light out so maybe i'll go somewhere before i head home we oh tomorrow's legumentines i think i'll buy some beans today say leg legumentines uh is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons Disgraceful. I have no idea what that is. Good evening. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes, this is a, yes, is there a kind that you are particular that you think is particularly good? My god, I cannot read. Why do you people stick around for this? This year's <laughs> ten this year's tens is trend. Oh my fucking god. It's towards those bean bean melodies for racers. 
but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird question, really. Hmm, that's true. Sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Calm corn, sure. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Why were I eating beans that would look like an all-you-eat can buffet? All-you-can-eat buffet. I've... Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. Almost empty, as always. And unsurprisingly, the heat doesn't work he well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. The pervading chill, as are in the library, the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be in a corner. There you are, Nageki. Sitting in a frigid f corner far from the meager effects of the head. Meager. God, fuck. <laughs> God. Effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Uh, you somehow forgive my dreadful sin. God, it's cold in here. Are you okay, Nagaki? I'm f I'm fine. Don't mind me, Miss Kensrot. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's Glumentine's, you know. Here. For me? Yep. You're supposed to give beans the most important bird in your life today. So, you want them? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with them. Maybe he's never gotten legumentines beans before. I hope he likes them. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through the lunch. Uh, sorting all these takes forever. I think I just have to encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Hmm? There's a note on the help desk counter. Hmm. Miss Kensrot, please be here after students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. Reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder if that's what that's all about. You know what? I think that's a good place to stop. So, thank you for joining me. And next time... Let's find out Nageki's little secret, shall we? See ya.